the three had to do manual work to earn their livelihood. They proceeded towards Kasi to have a holy dip in the Ganga. As they entered the gates of the holy city of Kasi, Vishwamitra was there to encounter them. This is just to remind you, today is the day you have to repay the debt you owe me. Harishchandra counted the days and realized that Vishwamitra spoke the truth. Though dismayed, he immediately gained courage and said to himself, I still have half a day left to repay the debt. I should somehow keep my word. As he was thinking, Vishwamitra said, Come on, Harishchandra. If you tell me that you will not pay me, or even say that you do not owe me anything, I will write off the debt. O oh, sage, it is a fact that I owe you the heap of gold. I will try to pay you by the end of the day. The sage left, leaving Harishchandra to work out a strategy. He started thinking of ways he could raise money. What if I sell myself as a slave to some rich merchant and clear the sage's debt? Oh no! What will happen to my wife and son if I do that? Then Chandramati suggested, My lord, why don't you sell me and our son and pay your debts? What are you talking, my dear? How can I sell you and our son and make you a slave? Initially he was shocked, but later he realized the truth. So he took his wife and son to the marketplace of the city. and loudly announced with tears in his eyes. My son and wife are for sale. They will be good workers. A Brahmin came to him and said that his young wife needed the services of a servant maid and offered to buy only Chandramati and said that he had no use for the boy. I will buy your wife but not the son. You see, he will not be of any use to me. He is so young that his tender hands cannot do any work. So, I will buy your wife. Please, I will teach him to do menial work and make him useful in the household. Hmm, in that case, okay, I will buy both of you. Finally, the deal was struck. The Brahmin bought them by paying an additional sum and took them to his house. Instantly, Vishwamitra appeared. Harishchandra paid him the entire amount he had received from the Brahmin. This is not even half of what you owe me. True sage, I will give you the balance in a short time. The day is coming to a close. You have not kept your promise. You have broken it. Just tell me you owe me nothing. I will set you free of your debt. I deserve your anger, sage. I do owe you money and I have to repay your debt. I have just sold my wife and my son and repaid your debt in part. Please give me one more hour just before sunset. I will try to sell myself and repay your debt in full. How many times should I be coming to you? Anyway, it is only one hour before sunset. Let me see. Saying this, the angry sage went away. Harishchandra returned to the market and started crying out loud so that everyone could hear him. I'm available to be bought as a slave. Nobody was prepared to pay the price he was quoting. An executioner, the head of the local cemetery, stepped up to take a deep look at Harishchandra. He carried some birds. He had a skull in his hand and adorned himself with the garlands taken from the copses. He also carried a long staff. In short, he was frightening. I will buy you. Who are you? My name is Pravira, an expert executioner of the city. I am the guard of the cemetery at the southwestern end. My job is to dispatch those who are condemned to death 
to gather clothes of the dead brought to my cemetery. Harish Chandra was wondering if he should accept to be the slave of Pravira. Vishwamitra appeared on the scene. Why are you hesitating to be his slave when he is offering you money enough to repay my debt? Harish Chandra pleaded. Oh sage, make me your slave for the balance of the money I owe you. I will obey your commands. I belong to the race of solar ancestry. Please save me from becoming a slave to a cemetery keeper. Just tell me that you do not owe me anything more and I will set you free. How can I say that? I still owe you money. So, you want to be my slave? Yes sir, I beg of you. Please take me as your slave. I agree. Now that you are my slave, I discharge you from the debt. But I'm selling you right now to the cemetery keeper for the sum he has offered. The executioner was happy that he got the slave he had bargained for. He paid the money to Vishwamitra and led Harishchandra away to his house near the cemetery.